He pushed past police, ran towards his car and sped away. A security aid hanging from the side. Pakistan's former military ruler Pervez Musharraf has dramatically fled from court to avoid arrest. The whole escapade broadcast live on Pakistan television. Although judges rejected his request for bail, Musharraf is now back at his heavily fortified compound on the outskirts of Islamabad, surrounded by military commandos and police. His spokesman denies he's been trying to evade arrest. Here's our international editor, Lindsay Hilson. Security was tight outside the High Court in Islamabad this morning as former President Musharraf's motorcade arrived. He's accused of treason for declaring a state of emergency and dismissing the Chief Justice back in 2007. As a military helicopter flew overhead, inside, the judge ruled that Pakistan's former leader should be detained with immediate effect. An onlooker filmed what happened next. Musharraf should have been handcuffed and imprisoned, but his people bundled him away in defiance of the judges. Hidden by the crowd, they managed to get him into his car. The motorcade sped away with Musharraf inside. The man who once ruled Pakistan by decree was on the run. The lawyers he'd alienated in 2007 jeered. Look who's running away. Musharraf is running away. And lawyers are alive to save the country and the constitution. It is the job of the police to arrest him. The police was there and the bail was not confirmed. Why the police didn't arrest him? His supporters were outraged. Even that the judge have dismissed our appeal and he's biased. He gave the wrong decision and now we have no faith on the judiciary. And the judiciary have decided to put him in the jail and we will see how they will do it. Musharraf's office issued a statement describing today's events as unwarranted judicial activism, motivated by personal vendettas likely to destabilize the country. The armed forces have been facing incessant public clamor to remedy the fast declining situation. In 1999, General Pervez Musharraf seized power in a coup, ousting the elected but corrupt Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. He evolved from tough military leader to urbane international statesman, offering the US Pakistani support after 9-11. But he overreached himself by taking on Pakistan's judiciary he returned the country to democracy, but was defeated at the polls in 2008. Last month, Musharraf flew back after four years in exile, but only a few hundred came to meet him. Then he was disqualified from next month's election on a series of technicalities. This afternoon, supporters gathered outside Musharraf's home near Islamabad, where he's holed up. His spokesman says tomorrow he'll contest the arrest order. Behind the barricades, Pervez Musharraf must be contemplating the ironies of life. The army may intervene to stop him being imprisoned. But the favorite in next month's election is Nawa Sharif, the man he overthrew in 1999. How are the mighty fallen? But in Pakistan, they may yet rise again.